In this video, trailer, we're gonna look at what does the hedging button do on core spreads? Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so Core Spreads is a sponsor of the channel. We very much appreciate these guys coming on board and we're happy to have them on board. The platform is interesting, the spreads are tight, and I've been looking at the platform and reviewing it. I found something interesting on it. Now, something interesting is this. In the trade button, and you might have watched a video before we kind of did a walk around the platform, but in the order button, the trade button, the trade ticket, should I say, after you press the trade button, there is a hedging button which you can tick. Now, what does that mean? hedging so this actually starts to open up a few opportunities for you because what this allows you to do is it allows you to open two positions opposing positions in the same instrument now you might be thinking well why do you want to do that and my immediate thought is okay you know that makes pretty much zero sense right if I'm long five pound a point Dow uh, and I sell five pound a point Dow then I close the position right and yes that's normally what happens with most brokers however what this allows you to do is it allows you to take an opposing position without closing the core position. Now let me explain why that might be of interest. And to me this is a little bit of a hack and I quite like it. I'll we'll have a look how you actually do it from an operational perspective in a moment. So, and I've got a couple of trades running on the demo that we can utilize and, and kind of show how it all works. Uh, so let's say we are, um, what have we got in the demo actually? We've got, let's say we've got a, a short on the Dow, or uh, sorry, we've got a long on, on, on DAX, right? We've got a long on the DAX, but, we have a kind of four or five day, four or five week view or swing traders view on that. And we've got the position. But let's say we think that over the next day, it's going to get hammered. We think there's a, you know, a short opportunity intraday um, and we want to kind of express that via a trade. So we'd have the long DAX position. We've got it chugging away. And let's say it's a little bit in profit or whatever it may be. But we want to capitalize on this short term opportunity on the short side. Now, normally, we'd have to sell that DAX position and go flat and then come back into the trade and it would be classed as a fresh trade. What we can do with this hedging button is we can tick this hedging button, we can take our short on the DAX, we can make our money on the short side. Now, hypothetically, we could also lose, of course, but let's assume this for now. So we're long on the DAX, the market then on the swing trade, we take a short position intraday, the market comes lower intraday, we close that short position, we bank some profit with that position, and we still have the core DAX long position. So it allows us, now, you know, I know that mathematically we're in exactly the same position we were, but what it allows us to do is it allows us to split perhaps different strategies and different time frames and different uh, these trade thesis. So time frames was that example there. Let's say we had like a four or five day time frame on our swing trade, but wanted to day trade it. We could split those up without it affecting that bigger time frame trade. It wouldn't close that. We tick the hedging button with there. And also if we've got different strategies. So let's say we have different strategies on the same market and uh, one is okay getting us long but it's not quite hit the exit yet another now is fired a short now we want to take both of them so but normally would be closing one then again we can use this hedging button to have an independent position so that yes in theory if we're long five and short five you know mathematically we're going to be zero but it allows us to segment the trade and it's a little bit of a hack in terms of being able to hold trades a little bit longer and being able to express perhaps a short-term trade idea without it affecting your longer-term portfolio. And you can do this with any stock or any, any asset that is available on the market, on, on uh, Core Spreads platform here. So let's go over to uh, the screen here and let's have a look at how we would do that. Okay guys, so we're at the screen now and I've got some demo positions open because they're not actually positions that I want to take. I just want to show you this kind of hedging tool that we've got here. So we've got a... A long position on the down, long position on, on DAX. Uh, DAX happens to be up at about 70 odd points here. Fine, demo, but it's there just to show what's going on. So we're one pound a point uh, long on the Dow. Uh, sorry, two pound a point long on the Dow, one pound a point long on the DAX. What we want to do now is we think perhaps the DAX has got a short term opportunity to the downside, you know, whatever that may be. Okay, so we're going to select trade here. It's going to open up our trade ticket. And we've got a default set to five, but actually got a pound a point position, right? And what we want to do, we're long on the DAX. We want to take opportunity, short term opportunity on the short side. So we tick this hedging button here. So what this does is when we submit this order, the order goes through. And as you can see on here, the net is zero, but it keeps that long position open. 
That's the key thing, guys. So now we have opportunity to capitalize potentially on the short side for this DAX trade and still keep our long position open. So let's use that analogy of, like, okay, well, we think it's a short-term trade, it's a scalp, it's whatever it is. We don't have to close that longer-term position, which mentally is quite nice because, I don't know about you, it's harder to reopen a position once you've closed it. It's always, for whatever reason, it's that mental block of, well, I'm in the trade, I can manage the trade and do it. Once you've closed it, getting back in, especially if the trade's gone in your favor, is challenging because you think, well, you know, is my risk reward skewed? Is it this, is it that? And psychologically, it's a bit of a barrier. This gets rid of it all. So now look, for example, and it just, just happens to have done this. Uh, we know we've made a few points on the short side. We can bank that, close the position here, submit, we've, we've closed whatever, we've made a few points on the short side. That hasn't affected that longer term trade idea that we've got, we've just happened to scalp it. And that then also for journaling purposes goes in the blotter and says, right, that longer term trade idea was still running. And you took a couple of short term trades and you can start to segment them out. You can go, well, actually my short term trades aren't that good. I'm better at the longer term stuff. Or this is this, uh, if we're splitting by strategy as well, this strategy is working better than this one. Look at the data. So it just cleans things out a lot. Uh, even though mathematically you're gonna be exactly the same position if you're opening and closing the trade, it just makes things a little bit cleaner. So that's something to check out guys. And again, link in the description below if you wanna check it out. Uh, there's no uh, minimum, um, account size to open a, a live account. And there's a demo as well, and the demo on live are, are identical. So go check out the demo if you don't fancy opening a live, but it is there and the hedging button is pretty decent. Um, it's not a very common, actually a lot of spread betting firms don't do that. So if that's something that appeals to you, uh, it might be worth looking at. Anyway, guys, that is the core spreads platform. They're sponsoring the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.